Well, some very talented Prince George's students are preparing for an upcoming stage performance about boy bands. Reaching back through the decades, the middle school students are bringing bands past and present to life. Our Byron Scott has the story. They are students with Benjamin Falloy Creative and Performing Arts School, and they are working on their latest production, Evolution of the Boy Band. Voice instructor Linnell Randall says her young students kept talking about K-pop and BTS. BTS is a um, Korean um, boy band, and there are lots of them. K-pop is a style of music. Randall describes the music as pop mixed with R&B and hip-hop. I realized that it was boy bands but it's not what I considered as an 80s baby to be what a boy band is. So then I thought, you know what, we need to understand where this comes from. So I thought the evolution of the boy band. And that brings us to their latest stage production. This time, Randall let the students take charge. So being student-led, I've really been the facilitator, finding groups that they were interested in, having them learn the harmonies, having them help with the um, choreography. So this has really been student-led and me facilitating to see what they come up with. The students will perform the music of 11 boy bands, including NSYNC, BTS, and Jackson 5, Temptations, New Edition, Backstreet Boys, and Beatles, the Beatles. As a chorus major, it's always a pleasure to, you know, be in these uh, productions and stuff. My name is Mark Anthony Fitzgerald Castro. And he loves the spotlight. Definitely to have a production, like an opportunity to show off our talents and our gifts to people on stage is... I mean, I'm, I'm always going to raise my hand for that. We get to learn about the people who made up music for us, people who started it out, people who made it better for us, so we can learn more about it and recreate what they have done for us. By now, you've noticed that all the boy bands include young ladies. You'll see our, our girls with their little fake mustaches on. Um, they'll be impersonating some of these these guys, but it's going to be the full chorus, and you would expect to see boys, but they'll transform. There's going to be a lot of wigs, especially in Jackson 5. I'll probably have to braid my hair up and put on a wig, and then have to switch into like a different wig for NSYNC, because I play Justin Timberlake, and he's known for his bandanas and spiky hair. Now it's just too late for me. Take a look. With the performance set for next week, they will spend the next several days polishing up the act, and they hope to see you there. We'd love to see you guys at the show. We're excited. These kids work hard. And you're going to have a great time, and you can get up and dance if you want to or sing along. So you won't regret it. It's going to be a blast, you know. In Morningside, Byron Scott, CTV News. The performances take place at Benjamin Falloy School in Morningside next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 10 a.m. And there will be a second show Thursday night at 7 o'clock. You can buy your tickets at the door.